it's funny. I mean, there are haters everywhere. I post videos on YouTube. I've, I, I know haters. <laughs> but, but for real, like, she does things that all of the great singers that we see all the time can't do. We don't, we listen to her plenty. We listen to her a lot, actually, Simone. <sighs> Hey, real quick, I just want to welcome you to the Big Brain Singer channel, where singers and music lovers come together. I'm Charlie, and my goal is to share my knowledge of singing and love of music with as many people as possible. If you want to be the first to experience reactions just like this one, please join us on Twitch, links down below, Monday, Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And if you yourself are an aspiring singer and want a mini voice lesson from me, I hold a free and open vocal clinic every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern as well. So make sure to join our community Discord server, links are also down below, to join hundreds of music lovers like yourself and to stay updated on community events. I hope to see you there and I hope you enjoy this reaction and analysis. We're, we're not, next is not Nightwish, but uh, a close sibling of Nightwish, I would say, um, symphonic metal for sure, is Epica Unleashed. Let's hear it, guys. Next song for the evening, this is Is that Simone? So I've spent a lot of time with conductors and orchestras in my in my time. And nothing comes close to anything as cool as this. If I if I could do one thing before my career is over, it would be doing something with like a metal band and an orchestra. Because I love working with conductors. Conductors are amazing musicians. They're the they're the best musicians on stage. They should be. And their vision is what guides the entire performance. Now, this kind of music needs that. You get bands like Nightwish that can just feel each other, right? And that's, they are their own conductors. But when you have such an, a, a huge ensemble like you do in these Epica concerts, you need someone, right? I said this is Simone, right? Yeah. We've actually not done Sabaton on here. I've listened to Sabaton. I like I like Sabaton a lot. Pay attention. How's the how's the conductor leading this? How's maybe Simone is conducting? Who knows? As a musician. No pasio. She's pregnant. You guys know I love talking about pregnant singers. But uh, <laughs> um, their 10th anniversary concert. These choirs are really fantastic for music like this because it adds an Im immense amount of emotional power behind these these songs. The the voice of the people, as it were. And Simone is their fearless vocal leader. Uh, and if I if you guys want to hear me do another pregnant singer rant and tell you how that works, then. Uh, I'll I'll do it, <laughs> but but I I don't know. It's just TLDR. It's really impressive what she's doing and being able to sustain that with that kind of breath pressure pushing down with a human being inside you. You being able to manage that diaphragm. It's really fantastic.
heard her in one of the official Arian videos. I think it was the human equation. And um, one thing that really sets Simone apart is the crisp, like crystal clarity of her sound. You can understand everything she's saying incredibly well, like incredibly well. And it's, it's, it's really, really pleasing. And the fact that she can also create this big, luscious, beautiful sound on top of that to contrast it, it makes her just a complete vocal powerhouse. Um, but I love like the clarity of diction and tone that she creates is is really 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 unique and significant for her artistry. So we talk about a thing in singing called tessitura, right? A tessitura is basically when all of you people are like, what voice type am I? The tessitura is is what dictates what voice type you are. And it's basically the like average range that you are good at singing in and good at singing and being where you're most comfortable singing. And her tessitura <clears throat> is really high i mean it's it's higher than floors she she has a lighter sound than floor which allows her to sing higher more easily than her and that's purely just like a natural thing normally people with with larger bodies and larger voices and darker voices have an easier time singing lower lower uh lower music it's just in a physics thing if the vo vocal cords are bigger they're better at doing low notes and, and vice versa and that's just like a big thing but when it comes to when it comes to the tessitura you know she has this amazing sound that can just sit up there all day and it cuts right over the orchestra it cuts right through the orchestra even though she's using a mic it's a sound that cannot the the clarity and purity that she brings in that sound that just sits up there it can't be replicated by any other instrument and that's another really huge strong point about Simone singing not to mention the fact Yo, she's pregnant. And in oftentimes, as I've talked about with a couple other videos of really amazing singers doing performances while they're pregnant, uh, going through that process, you know, as a, a, an anatomical thing, it actually facilitates a lower sound. You get more color and depth in the voice, but she is keeping that sound forward and pingy, and it's incredibly beautiful. Um, and she's, she's staying true to what she does best as an artist, and she's using that, using that really well, much well. she can sustain that like very pressurized belty sound and then pull the weight off as we just heard which is is one thing that's just going to contribute to her vocal longevity her ability to phrase well all of that Thank you. 
Yo, if the contractor for these concerts is watching, please hire me to be in that chorus next time. Thank you. Yo, who could who could bash her for her singing? Like, you go if you're gonna bash her for her singing, you go do it. All right. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Tao, you did not get fired. It was just there. Who can who can bash her? Everybody hydrate. Who can bash her for this? This is beautiful, beautiful singing. It's funny. I mean, there are haters everywhere. I post videos on YouTube. I've, I, I know haters. <laughs> but, but for real, like, she does things that all of the great singers that we see all the time can't do. We, don't, we listen to her plenty. We listen to her a lot, actually, Simone. But we listen to a lot, a lot of Flor Janssen because a lot of the people in the community love her and Nightwish. And, and we listen to a lot of different singers. We even listen to Dimash once. And, like, she does things that... No, that other singers can't do. She's a unique voice in the world, and all of them are, right? Not worth bashing singers like this, right? Gamer, I did not change the room. Uh, I, I kind of repositioned the camera, and I actually have some plans to put some interesting lights and stuff back there, and I changed my lighting a little bit. But, uh, yeah, no. But, yeah, she was around 18 to 21, especially her live performances at the time weren't up to the studio quality to some people. Yeah. Why do you go to live performances in the first place? It's because you don't want to hear the live, the studio quality. I don't like listening to studio quality because I want to hear like, I want to hear musicians being musicians. I don't want to hear, though it's in incredibly impressive. I don't want to hear like recording engineers and, and mixers and people, mixers and masters doing their thing. Right. I, I want to hear performers in the moment doing a thing. Right. Um, I, I didn't know she got bashed. I think she's she doesn't sound lazy at all. No, she's she sounds like she has an incredible voice and she's using the strengths that she has naturally, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that totally makes sense because part of the reason we listen to bands like Epica and Nightwish are to like feel the the raw humanity in their music. And the best way to do that is to go see them live. Absolutely. So her classical sound is like a very pure, well-rounded lyric soprano, whereas Flores could ebbs towards dramatic, right? And so, I mean, I'm only talking about this because I think I heard them do a duet at either this concert or another Epica concert, and 
and you hear that that contrast where Flora's voice it's lower it's a little darker and hers is bright and vibrant and lovely and it's when she sings up there it's really really fantastic um yeah 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 her classical voice is really really pure for the print let's listen to it one more time just to get that get that sound in there Hey, Colgis, come in, come to the stream on Fridays. We do voice lessons here. I could teach you how to sing classically if you want. Um, that's and also join the Discord because I I do a lot of like private feedback there. If people submit um, like things, uh, recordings, and I, I'll send you a message and feedback on how you can get unstuck with your voice. But yeah, I mean, when it comes down, I know we're talking a lot about like when it comes down to like studio versus live. Um, it's really funny because sometimes studio recordings try to create like the sense of intimacy that you don't really get necessarily in like a live soundstage and like a live concert situation. But there is no getting around the fact that live performances connect so much more with the performers as people rather than them just being individual instruments. I hope, I mean, I hope that makes sense, but that's kind of how I imagine that's kind of how I feel. You know, I feel like connected with the artists when we're watching a live concert or if I'm at a live concert, whereas if I'm listening to it, I'm like, Oh, I'm listening to the song, like the song in its most idyllic state. Right. Wow. You're still here. If you did enjoy the video, I want to invite you to check out my Patreon page where I offer multiple tiers of perks for both aspiring singers, as well as music lovers who want to take their listening skills to the next level. Also, I do need to say it like 90% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. It really doesn't take much. Can you please just press the little button down there? If you made it this far, you probably fit in right with the rest of the people who are the big brain community. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>